Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. I got your tropical update for the next tropical storm, next hurricane that's going to be affecting the U.S. and it looks like it's going to affect Puerto Rico first. Plus, I do have you update on your La Palma volcano. All the links are in the description. Please use the links in the description and we'll save you time going through the video and navigate a little bit easier. And if you've never been here before, hello, my name is Mark. I do upload every single day, just not Friday from sundown to sundown Saturday. That's Sabbath. But we'll make sure you're covered. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am all year along. As a matter of fact, I will start doing tropical updates twice a day again as this storm gets closer because it's still about 10 days away. So it's still very far away. Still, we need to stay on top of it because it's about to start ramping up again in the tropics. Plus, we still have our cold temperatures that are still coming, guys. I know a lot of y'all are still waiting for them. A lot of you deserve them. You've been through a lot of hot temperatures. Now, when we look at our Arctic oscillation as, as far as when this cold air comes down into our country, but the deepest is going to be starting in around the 24th, and Euro brings it almost down to a negative 3, which is definitely in the Gulf, guys. Even Cuba is going to be 70-something degrees. Now, Euro shows that around the 28th will be the deepest, and around the 1st, there'll be another little dip. And the GFS shows it'll be around the 24th, not the 25th, but it will come down to about the 27th and 28th, and then another dip will be happening sometime around October 5th or October 6th. So we do have another one coming after this one. And according to GFS, your daytime temperatures for tomorrow will go all the way towards the south and bring 50s and 60s to the deep south, including Texas. And the Euro confirms this as well. It's not quite in the 50s. Euro shows that it will be in the early 60s. But GFS brings it down to the 50s. On Thursday, GFS brings it even further down where it's colder temperatures for the Midwest and Ohio Valley in the 40s as well as the Northwest. But it's bringing 50s to the deep south. Even northern Florida is going to feel this come Thursday. And it's going to go all the way into the Gulf. It's going to be 70s all the way in the Gulf. Everybody, according to GFS, will be in the 50s and include northern Florida, 50s to low 60s. Even the Euro is confirming that on Thursday, it won't be in the 60s no more. It will be in the 50s come Thursday morning. These are all morning temperatures, guys. And the Northwest will be in the 40s with possible 30s in the higher elevations. And it's saying northern Florida will be in the low 60s with no 50s at all. But come Thursday, everybody will be in the 50s again for Thursday morning. And northern Florida, according to the Euro, it shows 60, maybe the panhandle towards Alabama, maybe getting a little bit below 60. But it's showing definitely 50s for everybody for Wednesday and Thursday. And as we jump forward to the 30th, you can see with GFS, it does go all the way into the Gulf with these colder temperatures. And everybody's still in the 50s to the 60s, just not as cold as they, as they will be for Wednesday and Thursday. However, the Euro showed a little, di little bit deeper. It showed it all the way down to a negative three. And by the 30th, it will definitely be going into the Gulf. Even Cuba will be about 76 degrees. However, it will bring 50s to the deep south all the way to the 30th of October. So you will be waking up pretty chilly. Now, the Northwest, the Euro brings it down to where they might be in the 20s come October 30th. An 8 a.m. update. On the tropics, it has Invest 98L at 50% in the next 48 hours and 90% within the next five days. And according to the Euro, in about four days, it'll be somewhere around Puerto Rico. Tropical Storm Peter is still going to be a storm and a depression and curve out. Might have some winds towards Bermuda after Sunday. And here's a good look at Invest 98L, and it is a pretty big system, including the one that I'm showing coming after it will take a northern turn. But GFS and Euro is showing two different tracks for these. GFS is showing a northern turn. Euro is showing that it's going to head straight towards Puerto Rico. But it is a very broad system. And it definitely is getting some good rotation in it. It's getting some shear as well. But not a whole bunch to lower it down where it will not strengthen. This storm is strengthening. And the intensity guidance on Invest 98L, as soon as it gets about four days, it has a good chance to become a hurricane. Even most models are showing that it will be at least a Cat 1 hurricane. I'm showing it's going to be stronger than that. The GFS shows that in about 9 to 10 days out, it will keep making that northern turn, and there's not no issue with it. However, the Euro is showing something different. The Euro shows that it's going to keep going west, and it goes straight towards Puerto Rico. Now, as we follow the Euro, you can see how when, with the cold front coming through, it don't affect anything right there. There ain't nothing going on. 
but it does show that it does head towards Puerto Rico and it strengthens up as it goes that way. So that would be very bad for Puerto Rico. And remember, the euro is the one that did show a big system still coming around October 5th to October 10th. We still have something very strong coming, guys. Even the one we're dealing with now with this potential uh, Hurricane Sam is nothing compared to what we have coming. And you can see when you follow the GFS, you got the cold front coming down, but it actually 98L takes a northern turn. Tries to go west a little bit, but the cold front does push it away. At the same time, as you go towards the 6th through the 10th on October, the GFS is picking up a big wave that's getting into our Caribbean as well. And when you follow the year, you'll see about just a tropical depression. You can see in about six, seven days that it will start headed towards the Antilles Islands and Puerto Rico. But you can see at the same time, it starts calming down, starts taking that northward push and swing it around. But it gets really weak. It starts off real strong, and then it starts getting weak because of all that shear coming from the cold front. But when you check for a chances for a hurricane, it does get all the way up to about 30% for a chance for a hurricane. It does strengthen up for a moment and about 10, maybe 11 days away is still very far. It strengthens up to about 30 to 35% for a hurricane as it starts to keep going west, but it takes that northward push. And as you follow the SpaghettiOs with the Euro, you can see how Invest 98L does continue to go west a lot of ensembles show that it will take that northward push. They all show that it will be intensifying, it will be strong, but they all show a northward push. Whether it's later or sooner, that's still yet to be known because it's still 10 days away. However, it is showing a northward push. It could affect Bahamas, it could affect southeast, it could even affect port portions of the east coast. So we need to keep our eyes on this system. And the one that's coming behind Invest 98L as well. If you look right here on E3, you can see that as 98L starts taking that westward push that we get another system right behind it going the same direction. And them two kind of link up together according to that run. But you can see that by early October that actually a lot of the ensembles show that it will make it to the Western Caribbean. Some of it show that it'd be very strong. So a lot of them are showing that this will make it that far. See right here on E19 just how close it comes. It could go straight towards Cuba and start headed towards the Gulf, but I am showing that there will be a turn. So hopefully that one don't show true and it does turn away. And when you look at the wind according to the Euro in the next 10 days, you can see that westward path according to the Euro. And so far it's going right over the Antilles, right over Puerto Rico, and it has a lot of wind with it. So far it's getting around 162. 168 miles per hour winds. That is a very strong system. But once again, the GFS shows that it will make that northward push. It's not showing that westward push that Euro has been consistently showing. And this link will be in the description as well, so you can continue to track the earthquakes that's happening in La Palma. Matter of fact, a new vent opened up yesterday, and they had a bunch of earthquakes. We had a 3.8, a 3.2, and it's been steadily doing two point something earthquakes. It's really been active. Now, this link will be in the description again as well. This is a live stream going on on the volcano. And you can see how it's affecting homes now because it's starting to destroy some of the homes, guys. This video will also be in there. This is where it shows the lava actually overcoming these homes and just reducing them to rubble. Just nothing. They're just destroying these houses left and right. A lot of people is not getting destroyed. A lot of homes are getting destroyed by this lava. And the president, Mariano Zapata, has made a big speech about what's going on. Could he have moved another community off the island because of the dangers of the new eruption from the new vents? So there's a lot going on. This link will be in the description for you as well. Now, the eruption from the volcano is putting over 10,000 tons of sulfur dioxide daily into the air, guys. And so far, 166 buildings have been destroyed and more than 5,500 people have been evacuated. And if you look at update on the depth and magnitude of the quakes, you can see that no more of them is going as deep as this was the other day. But a lot of earthquakes have been happening around the top end of the volcano. So this volcano is still very active. And this was recommended by a viewer of ours, guys. Her name is Lizzie, and this is Bushcraft Bear. He actually lives on the island. So go to the link in the description. This is where his video will be. Subscribe to his channel, because this guy gives you updates on everything that's going on with the island. And he lives there, and he is very good. He is a very nice guy. He gives very good information. Please go subscribe to this guy. He's doing great updates.
When we take a look at absolute vorticity, you can see how, according to the GFS, 98L does go north, and you can see that next one that comes off the coast of Africa, it shows that it will immediately head north and won't even be a threat. However, the cold front is what's keeping these at bay, and it tries to come in. The GFS shows that it does head north, and it gets whopped a couple of times with cold fronts, but it does try twice to come in, gets pushed away, it comes in, and it gets pushed north. So there is a big thing going on with this potential hurricane. GFS is showing a northward. Euro has been consistently showing a westward path. And that's the update so far, guys. I got this on NAM 3K so you can see the weather for the next two and a half days. because We do have a pretty big system coming to the Ohio Valley. It will be affecting the east coast and northeast as well. It's going to be a good bit of rainfall. At the same time, we got to stay on top of these tropics. It's still days away, but still something looks like it's coming. And so far, the effects will be towards Puerto Rico, maybe not according to the GFS. I will update you. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. God bless every single one of you today. I hope you have a great Tuesday out there. Today, let's start with a word of our Father. Amen. Today, I want to talk about Psalm 131. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. My soul is even as a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Have a great day today, guys. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope you have a very... A very blessed day today. God bless you all dealing with the La Palma volcano. I pray you all will be safe. Go follow Bushcraft Bear. He's a very nice man and he does daily updates multiple times on that volcano. He's a good guy to watch. All glory. Does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. The Almighty. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a very, very great day today. I'll see you in the morning.